Hey everyone, Guardian E here with another build and construction video in Azure Lane. We just got the update for the Air Raid Drills with Essex rerun on Global, so it's great. It's another opportunity to get Essex, who's a fantastic, fantastic ship. And of course, alongside her is a number of other submarines that, that are making a return, as well as Shangri-La, uh, a new ship for Global that's been out, of course, on the Japanese and Chinese servers for quite some time. It's our first opportunity to get her. And potentially even more exciting is the fact that they've brought in the Race Queen skins into the game. They've been out forever, for like, basically years. Uh, and they're finally in the game for a whole slew of ships, and they all look gorgeous. We'll absolutely be going over those towards the end of the video, or towards the middle of the video, after we do our pulls. We'll do our pulls first. Uh, and then if you guys are interested in watching kind of a quick overview of the skins that dropped, as well as uh, a more in-depth look at a couple of them that I'm going to buy, basically watch me just perv out on some costumes and feel free to stick around towards the middle uh, to end of the video. But first things first, we'll jump into the summons right now. So here we are on the limited rate up event all the way until July 8th. That's how long we're going to have to pull these ships. Um, and then after this event ends, they're all going to be dropped into the special construction pool just without a rate up. So don't despair if you don't get them. They're actually not limited. They're just rated up currently. And then they'll be going into the regular construction pool for special construction. Um, and then, of course, the event banner is still up. Uh, for the Skybound Oratorio, so that's still up for today. If you are missing any ships, now is the time to splurge to get some of them. So, like I said, we're going to be going in on this uh, limited time raid up. So, if you take a gander at the raid up, we can see that there are four SRs on this banner. I have Essex, and I don't have the other three. So, this is actually a great opportunity for me to get some new ships. Uh, we've got Shangri La, Essex, I-168, and U-101. And then all together, if we add it together, let's see, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6.8. So the overall SR rate is 7%, as it always is. And then the, the rate of getting a uh, an event SR or a rate up SR is 6.8%. So there's a very, very high chance if we see the Golden Flash, it's going to be one of the new ships. As I mentioned, I only have one of the four, so it's a pretty good chance for me to get... Uh, a new ship here. Our primary target is going to be Shangri-La, but at the same time, I would like to get the other two just to kind of round out and complete the uh, the event. We'll see how it goes. I don't think I'm going to go super, super crazy, but I'm definitely willing to dive in for all of them if I can get them. Um, additionally, there are a bunch of other submarines, uh, elite submarines that I don't have. So these elites uh, all together, each are 2.5%. So we've got a 5, 7.5% rate for elites, which is more than half. So again, it's there's a higher than half percent chance, I guess, um, when we get an elite that it's one of the events ships. So once again, Shangri-La, 2% chance. That is our primary target. We have a bunch of light construction set aside here. So I'll just go ahead and release these, finish all, and uh, see what we get. Really, we're just looking for Swift Shore from the light construction pool. So, uh, oh, there's a Chaser. I've always liked Chaser a lot. One of the, uh, the harder light construction pulls to get, I'll say. But we did get her this time. Mine's fully max limit broken, so I, I don't need another copy, but it's still nice to see her. Has some nice skins. Okay, all right. Not terribly eventful. So now let's dive right in. Do a max 10 pull and finish all. Yeah, so I am... Uh, obviously, Essex is a great, great ship. Extremely powerful. Great opportunity for new players that weren't around during the initial run to get her. So that's great. And, uh... Oh, there's I-25. I, I, I did uh, pull for I-25 before because she's one of my... I, of the submarines, I do like her design a lot, so that's great to get another one. I have her max limit broken. I like her um, her little downward bunny ears. It's very cute. So, already getting uh, one event elite. Getting a Yorktown now. That is not an event elite. So, I am super excited for the Race Queens coming out of nowhere. Wow, another I-25. All right. Um... You know, I'll, I'll appreciate more bunnies. That's fine. That is fine. I'll, okay, come on. I-25. Just give me a little bit of a break here. Like, I appreciate you, but, you know, let's, let's, just, let's just ease off a little bit. Need some personal space here. All right, so that was a rather dry multi. No new ships in that batch. But we'll just keep running right along and hoping for the best. So, Race Queens, super excited. Um, they were released, or at least the designs... Oh, hey, there's U-5... <laughs> U-522, that's a new elite submarine for me. Hmm, you're the commander around here, eh? I'm U-522, Iron Blood submarine reporting for duty. Anywho, heard this here port's like a party. I'm eager to join in on it. You know, 
in, in my dock, you work hard, you play hard. Those are those are the rules to live by. All right, well that's we've gotten one of the elites. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's the other elite. So we're getting I fifty six. I've been found. I I'm I fifty six. Um, if there are any missions I can do by myself, could I get those? Just trying to fly solo. I I understand. Or sail solo, dive solo. She's a submarine. So yeah, the. <laughs> The race queens have been a long time coming. That is extremely exciting. Oh, there is Shangri-La on the second multi. Getting that Shangri-La, which is awesome. Um, so, like I said, debuting on Global. Fantastic. CV38 Shangri-La has arrived. I'd like to share the stories in this notebook with you someday. But first, let's concentrate on the task at hand. So, she definitely seems something of a uh, an organized academic. Pretty good secretary material. Uh, she's great. That's awesome. So let's lock her in. We got our target SR, basically. And obviously we're going to keep going uh, to try to get some of the other submarines in the batch. And hope for the best. I, um, 168 in particular, I believe, is a very strong submarine. But uh, that's exciting. That takes some of the some of the pressure off of, of getting Shangri-La. So now we've gotten her. That's awesome. And then fingers crossed we'll get some more golden flashes and some more new ships. Oh man. So I'm eager to get into the skins because I am very, very excited about their their introduction. A lot of fan favorites. And the designs for most of them, like I said, have been around for more or less years. Um, so it's, it's been a long time. That was a horrible multi. Look at that. Oh man, that's a lot of medals for me. Alrighty, back into it. Uh, I'll do another ten pull. I think after this, I'm gonna start start rolling it back to the five the five rolls instead, just to mix things up a little bit. Oh, nice there! Hey, I was just talking about her. It looks like she was just waiting for me to compliment her first before she made an appearance. Here's I one sixty eight. I'm I one sixty eight, but do call me Aroha. I expect you to know how to handle an extraordinary and decorated vessel such as myself. All right, awesome. I can always use more submarines. That is pretty... Oh, <laughs> uh, I-25. I'll never get tired of seeing you. It's fine if you want to keep appearing. It's okay. There's Portland. Okay. So at this point, we're just missing one SR, which is where, where it can start to get a little treacherous. And so, like I said, here's the, um, the other rated-up SR that I already have, Essex. I already have her max limit broken and everything, so I don't need another copy, but um, it's great to see her, certainly. Her uh, uh, fangirling over Enterprise. Let's see. Okay, alright. So we're, we're getting down to it. Like I said, I think we're going to swap to the five rolls, the five pulls. Hope that we can uh, sort of curtail some of our spending. Alright. A lot of suffix today. A <laughs> lot of suffix today. Oh, wow. Are you... Really? Come on, suffix. But I certainly hope all of you did well on the Skybound Oratorio since that's coming to a close. Let me know in the comments below how things ended up closing out for you. Um, we did end up getting the chat icon. We cleared out most of the shop. Uh, ended up getting the baguette uh, weapon skin from the from the coin shop, which is was a high priority for me. And uh, overall, just a good event. So I, I don't know if I'm gonna show. I did some, I did record some of it. Um, I don't know if people are interested in seeing it. I mean, let me know if that's something you'd like to see. Here's another U522. So that that's limit breaking fodder for me. That's okay. I'll take that. Just looking for the one other um, SR submarine. If we can see that golden flash and that baseball cap, that would be much appreciated. We will officially have swept the raid up, and we can move about our day. There's another Essex. Very, very good ship, but not what we were looking for. That's okay. All right. How are we doing? So we're just over, like, 100, what, 120 cubes or something like that? Which is fine. Uh, I think I'm willing to spend maybe 10 more. And uh, and then see how that goes. Again, they're going to go in the regular construction pool, which means uh, for like wishing wells and stuff, they'll be in there 
Maybe not the next wishing well, maybe the next next wishing well. Um, but we'll have more opportunities to get these ships, so... Don't have to go in too, too hard. They are in that regular pool. And then, additionally, Prince of Wales and Otago are now in... They've been removed, I think, from special construction, and they're now in heavy, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, which will end up... Um, you know, by doing that, they'll increase the rates of the other ships in the in the uh, special construction pool. So that that's why they do that, so that people that pull on special construction don't have a more diluted pool. So that's pretty cool, pretty exciting. Um, should I do one more? Yeah, I'm gonna do. I, I think this might be the last one. I always say that though, and then I eat my words because I go in harder because I don't know when to quit. But we'll see. I kind of want to at least see the yellow, the golden flash again. Ah, uh, no. So unfortunately, we were not successful in acquiring the U-101. I think what I'll end up doing is, over the course of the uh, raid up, which is, again, until July 8th, I'll just do dailies on this special construction banner, the raid up banner. In the hopes of getting U-101, I'll compile that, put that, put that into a video. And then you can see um, if my last ditch effort to get U101 was successful or not. So that'll close it here for the summons. And then we're going to jump right into the skin overview right about now. And here we finally have the long-awaited Race Queen skins. Like I said, they've, the designs have been out there forever. We've been waiting for them to get put into the game. And they are finally here. And it is I am particularly excited about this batch. Let's get started. First, we got Taiho in her Enraptured Companion skin, which is absolutely gorgeous. She looks phenomenal here. She says and notes in one of her flavor texts um, that it's a fantastic outfit, and she has the proportions to boot, and I'm certainly not going to disagree with that. This is really more or less an excuse to put Taiho in a bikini, if you think about it, and I'm, I'm personally all for it. I'll be going over this skin in a lot more detail after I purchase it and, and review it and zoom in a little bit more, but uh, I love this skin. I think it looks phenomenal. Takao's Full Throttle Charmer is next. Now, Takao was one of the first Race Queen uh, designs that we ever saw alongside Otago. Um, a little more modest, you know, in terms of skin coverage than her sister, but all in all, still that form-fitting look and a lot of sheer um, that you can see across the skin itself. I like how dynamic she looks with the flowing ponytail, the umbrella that's positioned behind her and above her. She's kicking back on the hood of that very lucky car propped up to give a nice view of her legs. I think overall it's a very nice and streamlined skin. Atiko's Stunning Speedster. This one's a no-brainer. I've been waiting forever for this skin since the design has been around since the global launch. And, you know, first off, it's Atiko. Uh, what's not to love? The tiny two-piece with the thigh-high stockings is an absolute killer, uh, and she knows it. So I, I'm going to be buying this one. We'll go over this one in more detail a little bit later, like I said, uh, after I've purchased it and set her as the secretary. Fans of Duke of York should certainly rejoice because this one is an absolute beauty. Prestige of the Glorious Formula is the skin. Duke of York's slender vampire features paired with what's really the impracticality of a race queen costume is just, it's a win. Um, the costume itself, it's dark, you know, rich, full body, just like Duke of York. Um, this was in, I believe, the second wave of Race Queen skin designs from, I think, last year, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't think they were out at the same time as Otago and Takao, but, they were, but, but it was close. Uh, she came alongside Prince of Wales. And speaking of Prince of Wales, I think she is sorely underrated. She's not the best ship performance-wise by any stretch of the imagination, but design-wise, I think she's a stunner. She's been in the game since the early days, the very first event, uh, in fact, and, you know, deliciously fulsome figure squeezed into this form-fitting race queen outfit. The Laureate's Victory Lap, it's just a hugely tempting skin for me. Uh, features some, some healthy, absolute territory sticking out there, uh, and a tightly wrapped bust. I mean, what what's not to love, really? And I like the cute little, you know, done-up look she has with her hair as well. It's just, uh, it's styled differently. It's really charming. And actually, now that I think about it, this outfit reminds me a lot of, of St. Louis's and Honolulu's regular default outfits. Is you can, you have, like, the very short skirt and then the opening at the top. And then right below the bust line, there's also an opening. So, I don't know. I guess that says a lot about St. Louis and Honolulu's default outfits. Uh, but I'm, I'm very tempted to get this. I may end up buying this by the end of the video. In the Sororal Wing skin, uh, Crane Sister Shokaku, uh, allegedly softer than her sister, splayed on her side, hand across her hip, and 
wearing really what's a barely there dress design alongside some some white thigh highs. Now this is uh, one of the designs that was introduced well after the first and, and like second wave of Race Queen, so to speak. It was uh, alongside her sister and St. Louis and Taiho. Um, I, I really like the strappiness of this costume, the way that all the component pieces are kind of tied together by the straps. Uh, Shokaku still has her signature cute side tail sticking out there as well. And then of course her piercing blue eyes. I, th I think this is a really great skin design for sure. And Crane's sister Zuikaku over here, she's propped up on one arm and she's wearing the same uh, tiny little dress design as her sister uh, in this skin called the Wind's True Name. And again, wonderfully strappy. The pose itself gives these very soft tantalizing glimpses of her of her inner thighs there accentuated by what is really the tiniest front flap possible on that dress like seriously the full plunging torso window is only enhanced by her kind of leaning forward a bit and of course more thigh highs is always a win i actually really like how this outfit and stockings matches the the deep and luxurious chestnut brown of her hair it's just really beautiful uh, we're also getting two fun skins for shangri-la I like how it, it kind of looks like she's poking and nudging my, my gem count up there. But uh, this is a, a little bit of an adventurous skin. It's called Explorer of the Lost World, where I, I suppose she's gone exploring in a world lost to time. Because there are prehistoric critters and dangers all around her. She's got this very cute hat uh, and this overall academic scholarly look to her with the, the buttoned up vest and the tie and the long skirt. Um, she's showing just a, a glimpse of midriff and thigh in the skin to, to capture that wandering eye, but otherwise a pretty conservative skin overall. And of course she's got a uh, backpack and a lantern with her so that she's well prepared to go exploring. I-19 in pillowy paradise uh, looks cute and snuggly, creating what uh, looks to be a torpedo body pillow. Uh, the sleepy little manju sitting next to her is adorable as well. Uh, her outfit, it looks it looks soft and fluffy and comfortable. Uh, it just looks like she's getting ready to have a, a nice and restful sleep. The second Shangri-La skin for today is Utopia's Collector. Um, it's technically not brand new since it was available during her debut on the Chinese and Japanese servers. She's wearing, looks like some cute casual clothes in the comfort of a, of a home. I don't know whose home that is, but um, she's been collecting butterflies. She is, you know, bundled up. Um, it has it has kind of a, a rustic rustic small town feel to it um, you know it's got a long plaid skirt and a poncho around her so it, it, it's a nice look it's for the more more casual and everyday skin and then finally we have independence with her transfer student from a far skin um, pretty standard fair standard standard schoolgirl uniform but I think there there are some particular flourishes that I really like uh, there's kind of a more casual look to her sweater and sport jacket combination. It's, it's loose and baggy enough to exude uh, this, I guess, a, a, like a delicate softness to her design, but it's also constrained on some of the particular curves that you want it to. And I like how her eagle there has not skimped on the, uh, the dress code with that tie. You can't really see it here, but she's holding a, a piece of luggage that has a rigging design on it, which is, I think, really cool. Um, I think stuff like that is, is really neat. It adds a lot of personality to the skin, so it's, it's pretty nice. So let's review and take a closer look at Taiho, Otago, and Prince of Wales. I've made that decision right now. So let's get started. We'll, we'll start off with Taiho here. We'll purchase her skin. In Rapture Companion, do I make a nice race queen, my commander? <laughs> with these proportions and my fantastic outfit, the others couldn't hope to compare with me. Well, while you've certainly got some tough competition, Taiho, in those categories, you are certainly first class in all respects as well. So, um, giving everybody a run for their money, I am uh, without a doubt. So let's go ahead and put this on her. We'll stick this on Taiho. I have so many Taiho skins now that I need to I need to pull more Taihos so I can display all of the skins at once. But anyway, we'll go ahead and put this on her for now. And speaking of lovely ladies that I have way too many skins for, Otago, I, I'm pretty sure I have every single one of her skins, and we will be getting this one as well. Stunning speedster. So, you want Big Sister to be your fleet queen? You got it. But you better give it your all out there, or else I'll be upset with you. I always give it my all for you, Otago. You know that. Alright, so we'll go ahead and place this on her as well, and set her as the secretary. And then finally, I'm going to be purchasing the Prince of Wales race queen skin the laureate's victory lap let's go ahead and grab this one 
Oh, Commander, worry not. Since I've been given this job, I will see through it until the end. Besides, it's been a while since I've gotten this fired up. Haha. <laughs> Alright, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, and as you can see, I have Prince of Wales' swimsuit skin as well. We'll go ahead and put her in this one. It is regrettable that none of the skins are live 2D. Unfortunately, I mean, it makes a lot of sense because a lot of the, all of these skins are basically um, have been designed from, from way, way, way earlier. Like, like I said, basically some of them uh, bridging on a couple of years. And because of that, retroactively adding the live 2D to static costumes, I, I assume is a lot more difficult than it is to uh, conceptualize a live 2D from the start. And so they have done that in the past. There's, in fact, a St. Louis skin as well as an Otigo skin, Otigo's uh, summer, summer skin. Uh, where they did end up doing that retroactively, but again, um, I think it's a lot more difficult for them to do that. All right, so let's check them out. All right, well, let's start off with the Prince of Wales. We'll go through some of her voice lines here. Oh, you're back. Did you run into any of my sisters on the way here? That's very possible. Uh, your sisters are all over the place. Manjus drive these things. Oh, oh, really? The cars? The Manjus drive the cars? Sure, it's a mystery how they're able to turn the steering wheel, but I'm more curious how they're able to step on the accelerator. <laughs> I, I like to imagine that they uh, they stack themselves Rugrat style, where they they're like all in one big trench coat and they're <laughs> stacked on top of each other. Let's see what else we got. Uh, in a match or a battle, machine or ship's capability isn't everything, depending on the driver's skill or the commander's directions. I like that uh, that comparison. Okay. These clothes make eating quite difficult. Oh, I give up. Commander, you can have the rest of my sandwich. I am actually very hungry right now. I think I'm going to go get a sandwich after I'm done recording. Why would these clothes make eating difficult? I mean, I guess it's very tight. So, for one thing, she might not be able to move too much. And if you zoom in, which we will be zooming in, um, you can definitely see that her, her abs are constrained too. So maybe that's, maybe that's what it is. The torso area is pretty tight. Uh, the normal touch line. Does something about this outfit bother you? Uh, just the opposite, actually. There's something about the outfit that is very alluring. Some special touch. I won't let you go any further. Oh, why not? Why not? I know I know. Prince of Wales has eyes for Prince Eugen and, uh, and other lovely ladies as well, so maybe she's playing hard to get because of that. If she's upset, keep your distance. You're not qualified to command me. Let's hope you never get that line. Her love line. Uh, I had a dream, a dream of that time which makes me feel hopeless even now. When I open my eyes and see you by my side, it feels like life like life isn't so bad after all. Aww. All right, uh, victory. Taste of victory is always sweet. I agree. Uh, and then we'll take this opportunity to just kind of zoom in on the skin and, and soak in some of the details. But like I said, it's absolutely gorgeous. Very reminiscent of, I think, um, St. Louis's and uh, and Honolulu's skin, except kind of the all-white clash with uh, some red and black highlights. Very, very form-fitting. She said she couldn't finish her sandwich. It's probably because she's squeezed into this outfit that is a little bit too tight for her. But yeah, um, she looks wonderful. And she's nestled on this car here. That's fine, too. And she has the signature checkerboard flag, which is actually really nice. I do like that they've kind of incorporated that and the insignia of Azure Lane back there as well. But yeah, this skin is absolutely beautiful and I'm glad we were able to pick it up today. All right, well next we'll take a look at Taiho's Race Queen costume and some of the voice lines. Taiho usually pretty much always delivers on her voice lines. She always keeps things entertaining and interesting. So let's see what she has to say. Uh, would you like to take a bath with me or would you like to taste me? Or, uh, wait, these are... Small ones, calm ones, don't ever lie to me, touch me more. Oh, so she doesn't have unique voice lines for this skin yet. I guess they'll add those they'll add those later. So there's nothing really to go over with the skins. Let's just uh let's just zoom in and inspect the, the art itself, which is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, Taiho always delivers. I mean, this skin is absolutely stunning. Like I had mentioned, it is more or less her in a two-piece bikini, but I mean can you really ask for much more than that? I like how the sort of baggy, like full coverage windbreaker jacket that she's got on uh, behind her is this this sharp contrast to the sleek, strappy string two piece that she has on underneath. Perfect hourglass figure, and in typical Taiho fashion, she's not shy about squeezing those thighs into leggings and boots that are a few sizes too small there, <laughs> uh, causing some uh, pretty delicious skin dentation right there on the thighs. And the asymmetrical garter right there is a nice touch. That in particular is 
uh, very attractive, I'll say. So overall, some luxurious boots here paired with uh, a very scandalous two-piece swimsuit. Uh, it looks like she's got some some glasses also on her uh, on her head there, which are pretty cute. So overall, this skin is a win. I love it. Uh, again, wish it was live 2D. Yunsung usually delivers on the live 2Ds, so I, I'm sure it would have been great if, if we had gotten it, but uh, um, I will certainly settle for the static Race Queen Taiho. And then finally, last up, but certainly not least at all, we've got Atigo in her stunning speedster skin, looking absolutely gorgeous. And then we'll go through some of her voice lines naturally, because I think she does actually have unique lines in this skin. So log in. Commander, please do your best today, smooch. Oh, right to my heart. Oh, Atigo. View details. Pretty sure it was on purpose, but these clothes are very revealing. Big sister think it's cute when you're honest like this. There's more where that came from, that's for sure. Main screen one. Are you tired? Why don't you lie down and rest for a bit? Where you ask? Well, of course, right here. God, Otago, these lines. Uh, it's a pain to have to keep maintaining this pose. Commander, won't you help Big Sister up? So she's she's stuck in that pose this entire time. It's uh, I can tell why why it would be uncomfortable. Akashi, you said you wanted to publish a lingerie photo book starring me, right? Then Commander, would you like to see those photos? Yes, please, Yostar. Take some notes. Take your own advice here. Akashi knows how to really roll in the dough, so uh, I think that's uh, that's the next step. Commander, keep at it. Big Sister is always by your side. Special touch. You can touch me even more if you'd like, but there's no saying what might happen next. Okay. I like how she has kind of a sideways cheeky expression there when you have that line. Uh, let's go through these lines. Crush. It's all your fault, Commander, if you make such a cute face. Oh, that's not a new line. All right, so love line. Um, Commander, next time we take photos, I'm counting on you. That's right, we can spend some quality time together, just the two of us. For some reason, I get the feeling that we're going to end up with an album that's for your eyes only. Well, as suggestive as always, Atigo. I have no problem with a private photo session. Um, promise. There's a unique promise line. Oh my, you've caught me, Commander. Or should I say I've finally caught you? Oh no, no, that's her regular line. I actually never noticed that. I guess the unique lines are the ones with the little um, yellow highlights where it's turned on. If that's the case, I'm not 100% sure. Certainly seems like it. Victory. Me being the fleet showgirl isn't as much to be expected. Flagship fight. Commander, we're caught on leading the fleet. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so those are the unique lines. All right, so she's got some very saucy lines for those of you out there that like to hear Atigo um, whisper nothings into your ear. This this might be the skin for you. All right, so let's go ahead and take a closer look and zoom in on this beautiful art and costume. So, uh, like I said, she's kind of sprawled out on this, this case, whatever it is. Um, the supply case giving an, a nice view of, of the length of her body and, and ample curves. It's a very snug top that she has. It's kind of uh, squeezing and securing up there and you can see a little skin dentation on her thighs as well. It's very, very nice. She has those perky ears up there, which are very cute. And she of course has this um, like a, an ab abbreviated white shirt <laughs> alongside these uh, solo kind of orphaned wrist cuffs that she's got there. Um, that really serve no function at all. They don't make any sense at all. They're just very cute. So they add to the whole ensemble. Race Queen skins, not, not really meant to be practical. Um, they're just meant to be attractive. And certainly Atago knows how to deliver on that front. Um, she has sort of this, this coquettish expression. And, and I do like the, the ribbons in her hair as well. So um, did a great job on Atago's art here. Uh, like Taiho's, like Prince of Wales, like all of them, I would have loved this one to have been live 2D. Um, you know, fingers crossed, maybe they'll retroactively employ it, but I'm certainly not going to hold my breath. Uh, but yeah, Atigo looks stunning here. Absolutely gorgeous. So let me know in the comments below how you did on the air raid drills with Essex, a limited raid up banner. If you were able to get Shangri-La, if you were able to get all of the other submarines, if you were able to basically sweep the raid ups, bear in mind, remember, these ships and subs are going to be put into the special construction pool after the raid up period. They're just not going to be raided up anymore. So still want to go for them, but this isn't your last chance. But let me know how you did in the comments below. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Azure Lane content. We thank you all so, so much for watching. We really, really do appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend with us. It makes our day. It really does. I'm certainly hoping the best for you, your family, and your friends, and hoping that you're all staying healthy, safe, secure, and united out there. And until next time, let's protect those waters.